Want to create fun money-making cartoon videos totally free using just AI tools? Today, I'll show you how to use Meta AI's brand new feature that turns still images into short animated clips. The catch, you can't download those clips directly, but don't worry, I'll reveal a clever screen record trick so you don't miss a single second. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we'll bring the famous rabbit and turtle race to life, the timeless story where slow and steady wins. We'll start with story generation, create stunning cartoon images, animate them with Meta AI, and then polish everything in Canva. Finally, we'll add a professional AI-generated voiceover using Google AI Studio. By the end, you'll know the complete workflow for making kid-friendly cartoon animations, a valuable skill with high earning potential. So stay tuned, follow every step, and let's get started. Step one, story writing. First, we'll head over to DeepSeek AI and give it instructions to write a fun story about the race between a turtle and a rabbit. Along with the story, DeepSeek will also provide prompts for image creation, one for each scene and movement, so we can generate colorful, cartoon-style images that stay consistent throughout the story. The link to DeepSeek is in the description. The best part? We can ask DeepSeek to modify the story based on our own ideas or audience needs. Of course, this can also be done with ChatGPT, but DeepSeek is another amazing option. Once done, we'll have both the complete story and image prompts ready for the next step. Step two, image generation. All right, now watch this carefully. We're moving on to Pick Luma AI tool for creating our images. The link is right there in the description. First, open Pick Luma and click on the Creation button. Make sure to set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. That's the perfect size for HD video. Next, copy the prompt we got from DeepSeek and simply paste it into Pick Luma. Here's the trick. Within just a few seconds, Picluma will generate a colorful scene. For example, our first image could be the rabbit and turtle talking to each other. Once it's ready, just download it. Easy, right? Now, repeat this process for every scene, one by one, so we'll have all the images we need to animate later in Meta AI. And here's a pro tip. You can try other tools like Leonardo AI or Midjourney, but for consistent character images, Picluma AI really does the best job. Step three, image to video creation. Now comes the most exciting part, turning our images into videos using Meta AI. The link is in the description. First, open Meta AI and click on the Create button. In the window, select the video option. It will then ask you to upload an image. Simply click on the upload image button and choose the very first image from our story, the one we created earlier with Picluma AI. Once the image is uploaded, paste the same prompt we used for image generation. Meta AI will now process it and within a few seconds, create a short video clip of that scene. Pretty cool, right? Repeat this process for all your story images one by one until you've got video clips for every scene. And don't worry about downloading. Meta AI doesn't offer that option yet. Instead, we'll use OBS Studio for screen recording to capture everything smoothly. This brand new feature in Meta AI is not only amazing, but also completely free. It allows us to build a long video by creating scene after scene. And here's a tip. If something doesn't look quite right, just tweak the prompt and generate your desired video again. With a little experimenting, you'll get the perfect animation for your story. Step four, text generation for voiceover. Here's where the magic really starts because now we need the story text for our voiceover narration. To do this, we'll go back to DeepSeek AI, 
All we have to do is give it clear instructions and instantly it will generate the full story text for us. Sounds simple, right? But here's the catch. The first draft may not always be what we want. So here's the trick. We can refine our prompt. For example, instead of asking for detailed instructions, we can tell DeepSeek to write the story text in simple English, perfect for kids. And this time, boom, DeepSeek creates a wonderful storytelling script that matches our turtle and rabbit scenes beautifully. The best part, we can repeat this process as many times as we like, fine tuning the output until it's exactly the way we want. Step five, screen recording of video clips. Now that our images have been converted into short video clips using Meta AI, as we learned back in step three, there's just one challenge. Meta AI doesn't allow us to directly download the videos. So here's the solution. We'll open each clip inside Meta AI and record it using a screen recording tool. The best option for this is OBS Studio, which is completely free to download. Once installed, simply click Start Recording, play your video scene, and OBS will capture it in high quality. Repeat this process for every scene, one by one. Don't worry if there are small gaps or black parts between clips. Later in editing, we'll trim those out and smoothly stitch everything together. This also gives us the chance to sync our voiceover narration with the recorded clips, making the story flow naturally. Step six, voiceover. Now that we have our story text from DeepSeek AI, it's time to create the voiceover narration. For this, we'll use Google AI Studio. Simply go to the tool, click on the voice generation option, choose single speaker and paste in the story text. Then hit run and within seconds, your voiceover will be ready. Click on the three dots to download the audio file. And that's it. Now we have both the recorded video scenes and the audio narration ready to be compiled and edited into a complete animated story. Step seven, final video editing. Now it's time for the most important and creative part of the process final video editing, where everything comes together into a complete animated story. By now, we already have two key elements ready, the screen recorded video clips and the voice over audio file. The next step is to combine them seamlessly. First, go to canva.com, select video, and set the aspect ratio to 1920 by 1080 pixels for full HD quality. Then upload your voice over audio and place it on the timeline. This will serve as the main narration of your story. Next, upload all your video clips one by one and arrange them in the correct order. Carefully trim any unnecessary parts and adjust the length of each clip so that the visuals perfectly match the narration. This part might take a little time, but remember, Syncing audio and video is what makes your final animation look professional and engaging. Now, here's a pro tip. Once you've placed everything on the timeline, play the entire video from start to finish. Watch closely and check if the character movements, dialogues, and scene transitions match the voiceover narration. If something feels off, slightly move the clips or adjust their length until everything flows smoothly. But we don't stop there. Canva also offers a library of short sound effects that can bring your story to life. Click on the audio option in the left panel and you'll find a variety of sounds like walking footsteps, clapping, cheering, birds chirping, water splashes, and more. These small sound details make a big difference in storytelling. For example, when the turtle starts walking, add a soft walking sound at that exact moment. When the rabbit wins or the audience cheers, include a clapping or cheering clip. These extra layers of sound effects make the story feel more real, more dynamic, and much more enjoyable for kids. Now, watch the final animated video created in this tutorial and give your feedback.
In a sunny meadow lived Rocket Rabbit, who was incredibly fast, and Shelly Turtle, who was wonderfully steady. One day, Rocket boasted, I'm the fastest, no one can beat me. Shelly replied calmly, let's race and see. The race began. Rocket zipped away in a flash, leaving Shelly far behind. This is too easy, he laughed. Seeing his huge lead, Rocket decided to take a quick nap under a shady tree. But Shelly didn't stop. Plod, 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 she kept moving forward steadily. She passed the sleeping rabbit without waking him. When Rocket woke up, he saw Shelly nearly at the finish line. Oh no, he cried. He sprinted desperately, but it was too late. With one final steady step, Shelly crossed the finish line first. The crowd cheered as Rocket skidded to a stop, panting. You won, he said. You taught me that slow and steady wins the race. From that day on, they were the best of friends.